Hey everybody. So you know how to do equivalent circuits for resistors in series and resistors in parallel. So in this video we're going to talk about doing equivalencies for independent sources. So you could have, let's say, a voltage source that is in series with a resistor. You could also draw it like this. So as far as nodes A and B are concerned, it's equivalent to if you had a current source in parallel with that same resistor, like this. Okay, and then you can also draw it like this, same thing. So as far as node nodes A and B are concerned, it's the same. Like we don't nodes A and B don't know the difference between this configuration and this configuration. So a voltage source in series with say resistor R, or a current source in parallel with that same resistor R. And what's the conversion between these two? I think you can remember pretty easily. Is V equals I R like this. Okay, so let me show an example. It's simple, but really effective. So for example, let's say you have this circuit and we want to find the power associated with this source over here. So as far as this node and this node is concerned, see how this voltage source and that resistor is in series? You can replace it with a current source in parallel with that exact same resistor. So see the 5 ohm resistor? Five, and then in parallel with the current source. Which way do we draw the arrow? You see how the voltage source has the plus sign over here? So like current will go this way. So that way. That's the way you draw the arrow. So we're here. And here. How much current? V over R. 40 over 5. That's it. So we replace this with this, and it's equivalent as far as these nodes are concerned. Okay, so let's simplify this a little bit further and keep going. So this was a 20 ohm over here. So we can combine these in parallel. Okay, so 20 and 5, 1 over 20, plus 1 over 5, and then take the reciprocal. So that's 5 over 20, so take the reciprocal is 4. 4. And that's 8 apps. Okay, and let's try it again. So as far as this node and this node is concerned, see how these are in parallel? We can replace that with a voltage source in series with that exact same resistor. So instead of being in parallel, it's the 4 ohm in series with a voltage source. So as far as these nodes are concerned, see how this, this is equivalent? 4, and then how much voltage? IR. So 8 times 4, 32. Okay, and then now, if we take a look, we can do some simplification here. See how all of this is in series? The 6, the 4, and the 10 ohm resistors are all in series with that 32 volt source. So, let me move over here. So the 6 and the 4 and the 10 are all in series. 
making just one 20 ohm resistor. Okay, and then now, as far as this node and this node is concerned, see how th these are in series? We can replace that with a current source in parallel with that same 20 ohm resistor. And how much current? V over R. So 32 over 20, 1.6. Okay, and then we can do some more simplification here. 30 and 20 in parallel. Add these together, so that's uh, 2 over 60, 3 over 60, 5 over 60. Take the reciprocal, it's 12. Okay, so it looks like this. And then again, as far as this node and this node is concerned, see how these are in parallel? We can replace that with a resistor, the same 12 ohm resistor in series with a voltage source, which is IR. Okay, so that's uh, 12 plus 0.6 times 12 is 7.2, so 19.2. Then how much? That was 6. Okay. Right, and then this 4 ohm and 12 ohm resistors can just be combined in parallel. Alright, so if you look at this circuit, if you just look at the 16 ohm resistor, which side is the higher voltage, this side. It's higher than this side, right? It's 19.2 over here, 6 over here, with respect to down here. So which way is the current going to go? It goes from high to low, right? So definitely the current is going to go this way. How much current is that? V over R, right? So 19.2 minus 6 over that. So then we know the current, which is definitely going toward the left, which means this voltage source is delivering power, and this voltage source is absorbing power. The power here would be negative, the power here would be positive. Okay. Here's a different circuit. I wanted to point out something important and useful. If you look at this node and this node, what's the voltage? If you took a multimeter and measured the voltage, it would definitely be 250 volts. But I want to point out, as far as this node is, and this node is concerned, What's the difference between these two? Right, as far as here to here, 250 volts. Here to here, 250 volts. So, as far as these nodes are concerned, these are equivalent, these two. These are equivalent as far as the nodes are concerned. So. Whether or not this resistor is here doesn't even matter. So keep that in mind. If you have a resistor in parallel with a voltage source, as far as equivalencies are concerned, you could just get rid of it. It doesn't make a difference as far as the voltage. Okay, look at this right here. As far as this node and this node, how much current is going through that branch, 8 amps. Okay, what's the difference between these? There's 8 amps going this way, 8 amps going this way. So as far as these nodes are concerned, it doesn't matter that this 10 ohm resistor is there. You could replace it with a wire and the current doesn't change. 
So another equivalency, if you have a resistor in series with a current source, you could right, just get rid of it, replace it with a wire. Not remove it like where it doesn't, where you just take it out of the circuit and now it's an open circuit. You have to replace it with a wire. Okay, so this is important. Simple, but really useful. Okay, now let's do an example. So this is just one of these assessment problems. So let's give this a try. So what can we transform? Um, so we can turn this into, right, this is a voltage source in series with a resistor. This is also, this is a current source in parallel with the resistor. So I think it'll be useful if we just replace these first. So let's replace this. So 120 turns into a current source in parallel with that 20 ohm resistor. How much current? V over R. So 120 over 20 is 6. Okay, now this one, that can also be replaced with a current source in parallel with that same 5 ohm resistor. How much current? V over R, 12. Okay, and then we could transform this into a voltage source, but I kind of want to keep this current so I can just combine all the current sources together. So I'm just going to leave this alone. And then draw the rest of it. Okay, so see the 6 amp, 12 amp, 36 amp. They're all in parallel, which means we can combine them. 6 going up, 12 going down, 36, so that's 30 all, all together. And look, 20, 5, 6. These three resistors are all in parallel, right? They have the same node up here and over here, right? They're sharing the same nodes. So I can replace that with a single, I don't know what value, 20, 1 over 5, 1 over 6. So that's 6 over 120, 24 over 120, 20 over 120. So that's uh, 50 over 120, and then take the reciprocal, 12 over 5. So that's uh, 2.4. Okay. And then let me draw the rest of it. There's the, these two over here. Okay, and then again, look at this. We can replace that with a voltage source in series with the same 2.4 ohm resistor. And then how much voltage? I R. Okay, so that would be 30 times 2.4, so that's uh, 72. Okay, and then what we're looking for, the voltage. Okay, so if we, right here, these can combine in series. So that's 4, and over here is 8. And the question was, what's the voltage here? So we just do a voltage divider. So the voltage here is 8 over 12 times 72. 8 over 4 plus 8 times 72. So that's uh, 2 thirds of 72, so 48 volts, which means over here is going to be 24 volts. All right, so 24 volts here, 48 volts here. All right, so that's part A, how much power. So we could just, now that we know the voltage, um, then we know the current, definitely. All right, so the current here has got to be the same as here. 
right here, right? We're talking about this resistor right here. So we know that current, um, V over R, so six amps. That's for the eight ohm resistor, which is in series with this one. So this is also six amps. And then if we know the current and we know this resistance in series, that's 9.6 ohms. Then we know the voltage right, right here is uh, the voltage right here. It's IR, so six times six amps times 9.6 volts uh, ohms. So we know the voltage right here, which is the same as the voltage here, which is the same as here, which is the same as here, which is the same as here, which is the same right over here. These are all the same. Okay, so that's uh, that's uh, 57.6 volts, if you just multiply that. So we know the voltage here, and then let me just draw this again, so. Right here is 57.6 volts. So then right on this side, 120 volts, on this side, 57.6 volts. So we know the voltage across here, just 120 minus 57.6. So then, and we know this resistor, so we know the current. We know the current It's going this way because this side is higher. And then if you know the current, then you can solve for the power, All right? Just this current times this voltage is the power. Okay, so that was kind of a lot of information. So try and practice using these source transformations. It's pretty useful, not too difficult. So just practice and then let me know if you need help or if you have questions and I'll see you on the next video.